Well, good morning. It is the 3rd of June today. I actually had a moment last night after dinner where I was like, how is it already June the 3rd? But anyways, welcome. If you're new to the vlogs, my name's Kyra and I'm currently traveling Europe for a month and a half. Currently, I'm in Skopje, Macedonia. Today, though, we are leaving after six days here. I've been here way too long, okay? We need to see something new, all right? So we're going to Lake Ohrid today. There's a little in the back of your throat. That's two nights there. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we may do the wine tour there because we were trying to do a wine tasting here in Skopje. It fell through. So now maybe we can do it today, this afternoon, because we have free time once we arrive there. I'm excited. It's about a two hour drive there. But first, I'm just gonna go get some breakfast. I had a fantastic sleep last night. I feel like a renewed woman. Oh, I'm just so grateful that I was able to sleep. I put my earplugs in and I think that made the difference. So I think I'm going to start doing that because I am sharing a room. I did not get lucky and get a private room. I do have to share with somebody and I just think I sleep much better and more peacefully with my earplugs in so I don't hear any noise. So that's the plan moving forward. This lake is apparently a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So you got to know it's going to be beautiful. So I can't wait to share with you guys. I can't wait to see it myself. So let's have breakfast and hit the road. friendly welcome to Lake Ohrid. It's very nice to be here. It's a very calm lake. I'm gonna see what the temperature is like and when the sun comes out I may go for a swim. But I'm very happy to be here and look over there is the old town. This way is the new town and of course the lake all around. I love being in peaceful beautiful surroundings like this. You have nature but you also have city so it's just perfect. So happy to be here. kind of running race marathon so quaint okay now we're in the old part the old town you can instantly tell with how the buildings look a paper museum Uh, procedure and equipment from 16th century. First paper in Ohrid, Monastery Cell now. Five papers from oak tree, water, water, and maybe 40 50 percent cotton. Oh. 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 Room tour for Lake Ohid. Tiny, oh my god, look at the toilet. It's so cute. It's floating and tiny. Okay, this is a little tight bathroom. Cute little twins. A desk, custom desk stand. And look, oh my goodness, I didn't even look outside. We have a lake view. Beautiful. Here's the seating area and the lake oh of course always by construction hopefully they don't go too late in the day all right we've checked into the hotel and now we're getting ready to go on a wine tour a wine tasting tour we don't know if it's gonna rain or not we keep seeing these clouds here but now it's sunny and warm so i'm just gonna be optimistic and i'm gonna dress for sunny weather so it's time to put some sun cream on of course but also some sandals us at the winery before. Woo. I'm wearing flip flops to this fancy winery. <laughs> I didn't realize it's fancy here. 
first of all, I will explain you about our winery because we had winery that is a story and I will explain you how we begin, how we continue and never end of this okay. winery. <laughs> On the old church that was from 17th century. So that idea to rebuild this monastery, it was from the priest who is from this village. We have the barrels with the beautiful wine. Yeah. He went up to the top of the mountain. And this one is Rekin. Yes. Yeah. Okay, number one. He must be blind. Salud. Okay. That was it. It's true. <laughs> it's still as awful as I remember. <laughs> I bought one bottle of Philip II, which was my absolute favorite red. So good. Really fun experience. Definitely recommend it. This is a winery on a monastery. Feeling great. <laughs> so I will see you guys in another update. Everybody. welcome to the 4th of June last night was a full moon not that I saw it but I just love when there's a full moon and we're in the most beautiful setting oh today we're actually going to enjoy the splendors of the lake with a boat tour it's a beautiful sunny day last night was a rough night though there was such loud music it was a Saturday night and the aircon in the room was broken so we had to leave the door open the noise was insane this guy played a live set for I'm not kidding like an hour and a half straight with no breaks live I'm like Okay, first of all, that's talent. But second of all, it just was so loud. So I didn't get to bed till late last night. I'm a little bit run down, but this is our last day in Lake Ohid, so I want to make the most of it and have the beautiful boat tour. Maybe go for a walk in the old town later. I did walk a little bit last night, which was really nice to see new area versus the old area at night. That's the plan for today. I'll take you guys along with me, but first let's go hop on a boat. Okay, change of plans. I actually went down to breakfast and I confronted my roommate because we've been having a couple issues with scheduling. She gets up super early, was packing up her suitcase and stuff while I was still trying to sleep. So after a couple days of that I had to confront her and just say like can we compromise because you know if you're just going downstairs to have breakfast anyway why don't you just get ready to go downstairs and then when you know that I'm awake come back up and then do your suitcase packing then <laughs> 
So I was just like literally going to confront her and just say, can we please come to a compromise because our schedules are really different and I need my sleep on this trip. And if you're continually waking me up at like five, six, seven in the morning, it's not gonna work. We're not gonna enjoy our holiday. You're not gonna enjoy it and I'm not gonna enjoy it. So after I confronted her, things went a little bit to the other side and I guess she didn't wanna compromise. So instead she said, well, I'm just gonna book a private room for the rest of the tour. And I was like, okay, well that escalated, but in the end we came to a solution she's paid for a private room and then by default i get my own room now <laughs> So I'm no longer sharing with anybody. I have my private room. And like I said, I asked her to compromise, but her solution was not to compromise. It was to just completely kick me out of the room. <laughs> but actually this is the best outcome for both of us. I am on a strict budget. Like this trip on Intrepid was not cheap. So for me to add on a single supplement was an extra thousand or more. I just wasn't willing to do that. So unfortunately, yeah, that didn't work out and it's a little bit awkward, I guess, but I hope that fades over the next week that we have left on this tour. And I'm in a private room now. And thankfully this room has air conditioning because it's a heat pump. So it's a little bit less of a nice room. Like it's smaller, not as renovated and modern as the other one. And I don't have a lake view or patio. Well, I can see a little bit of lake there. My main view is of this building. But honestly, I would rather take this room that has air conditioning so I can sleep comfortably tonight than the room with a view that you have to leave the door open and listen to loud music at night. So that's what happened. I've checked into my new room. I don't even know if it's worth doing a room tour, but let's do it. Okay, literally, this is the room. It's just two little small beds and a little ensuite bathroom. We got a brief little desk there. And like I said, the view, that was my room from before looking at the lake, but I have like a side lake view over there. So that's okay. But the most important thing is I have this, which is working and I love air conditioning. Okay, nothing like a little bit of drama in the morning to start your day, but now we are gonna go on a boat and relax. So I will see you guys for sure, for sure now on the boat. <laughs> race like a marathon relay going on today so it's so funny to see all the runners people doing 21k 10k 5k but i made it on the boat i'm on the boat in macedonia and it's beautiful <laughs> on the boat we didn't end up swimming because nobody else wanted to so we're heading back now but that was lovely if you're ever in Lake Ochid you have to go on a boat definitely the lake water is not even that cold honestly but I'm Canadian so take that as you will this was lovely and now the rest of the day I'm going to explore the old town maybe go up for a hike to the fortress just enjoy my final day in Macedonia because tomorrow we are leaving and we are going to Albania which is another new country unlocked I'm so excited for that but for now, let's enjoy our final day in Macedonia, or as other people call it, Macedonia, North Macedonia.
right, I've hiked up a little bit up into the old town because you have to hike up the hill to get to the fortress. But we came here to an ancient amphitheater and this is the first site all uphill of course so a bit sweaty but before i came to do my walking tour i did have time to do my nails which i always love a little self-care moment while i'm traveling and it just makes me happy to do my nails so i have a nice beautiful purple color instead of the bright blue this time but here we go amphitheater next stop the fortress Listen to all the birds. Somehow I ended up on a hike in the woods, but I'm not mad at it. It's peaceful, partially shaded. This is beautiful. We got the lake over there. We got some kind of monastery over there. And we got birds, tweeting birds. What a beautiful walk. I love getting exercise today. up my time in North Macedonia. I highly recommend a trip to Le Cochid. It's peaceful, the lake is beautiful and tranquil, and the old town mixed with the new town is a fabulous combo. There's beautiful hikes around all the churches and monasteries and plenty of history to keep you learning on the go. Le Cochid is the deepest lake in the Balkans and borders the mountains between southwest North Macedonia and eastern Albania. In fact, you can see Albania from across the lake. Even with the drama between my tour roommate and dealing with bad group dynamics, I really enjoyed my time here. I enjoyed the boat ride, and loved my solo adventure walking through the hills of the old town. Having free time on this tour really helped me cope with the fact that I really didn't want to be on the tour anymore, but we'll get into that further in future episodes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!